All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Land Use Committee. I am Councilman Rafael Salamanca, Chair of this committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee and are present today. We have uh, Councilmember Barron, Constantinides, uh, Kuhl, Landsman, Reynoso, Richards, Traga, uh, Chair Gradenchik, Chair Adams, and Councilmember Diaz. I want to thank Councilmember Gradenchik for filling in for Chair Moya this week, and I want to thank Chair Adams and Chair Kalos for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting to modify LUs 52 through 54 to West 108th Street, WSHFSSH rezoning in Councilmember Levine's district in Manhattan. This is an application for a rezoning, a zoning text amendment to apply the mandatory inclusionary housing program and the urban development action area project UDAP designation. Project approval and disposition of city-owned property. Approvals will facilitate the development of a community facility containing 119 supportive and 79 affordable residential units. A new transitional shelter with 110 beds and a replacement ambulance parking. Later in the second phase, approximately 80 senior housing units will be provided. The council's modification is to remove MIH option two and to add MIH option one, which provides for 25% of the floor area for household averaging 60% of the AMI with 10% at 40% of the AMI. We will be also voting to modify LUs 55 through 57, the Park Haven rezoning for property located in Council Member Ayala's district in the Bronx. In this application, HPD seeks approval of the Urban Development Action Area Project, UDAP designation, project approval and disposition of city-owned property. It also seeks a zoning map amendment to rezone the project area and a zoning text amendment to apply MIH. These actions will facilitate the development of an 11-story mixed-use building with approximately 170 units of affordable housing, a fresh food supermarket, and a community facility space. Our modification will remove our MIH option two and add MIH option one, which provides 25% of the floor area for household averaging 60% of the AMI with 10% at 40% of the AMI. We will also be adding the deep affordability option. We will be voting to approve LU 58, the 500 West 174th HDFC tax exemption for property located in Council Member Rodriguez District in Manhattan, pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Laws. This 40-year tax exemption will not only facilitate the renovation of the building, but also remove the property from the list of buildings slated for third-party transfer round ex -closure, foreclosure actions. Last, we will be voting to approve LU's uh, 59, the 721 van Sicklin, a tax exemption for property located in Council Member Barron's district in Brooklyn. Pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law, this 40-year tax exemption will not only facilitate the renovation of the building, but also remove the property from the list of buildings slated for the third party transfer round 10 foreclosure actions. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? Council Member Barron. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Just brief comments on land use number 59. That is in my district, and I would urge all of my colleagues to vote in favor. It is a HDFC, which fell into hard times, but they have reconstituted their board. They are now having a greater percentage of the rent collection, and they do have four commercial units in their building, which will help them to be able to meet their monthly obligations. So I'm in favor of this project. I support it, and I ask all my colleagues to vote in favor. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Barron. I also want to just bring attention to the Park Haven rezoning that's in Councilmember Ayala's district. Originally, this application was option two. Um, and they got resistance in the committee, and we were able to lower them to option one. Uh, they will still continue the 50, uh, 50 units uh, for, the, uh, for uh, supportive housing for homeless families, uh, but I know Diana was able to negotiate a deeper affordability where she's getting 30, 40, and 50% AMIs on this project. So I just want to congratulate Diana yet on the record. With that, will the uh, council please call the roll? Can you please call uh, Council Member Lansman first? Thank you. Louis Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Council member Lansman. Aye, thank you. Salamanca. Aye on all. Barron. I vote aye on all. Constantinides. Aye on all. Ku. Aye on all. Reynoso. I vote aye on all. 
Richards. I don't know. Traeger. Aye. Grolenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye on all. Diaz. By vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Awesome. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for 10 minutes. Thank you.